Hello friends, welcome to Beyond 20's YouTube channel. In today's video, uh, we will learn how to create a notification and trigger an email in ServiceNow based on the specific conditions. So in this video, we will see how to create a notification uh, and an email uh, when the P1 uh, priority one uh, incident has been generated. So for that, first of all, in the left navigation, we will type notification and under email under system uh, notification under email uh, when we see notifications click on that and over here we will create a new notification for priority one so for this video we will give that uh, name as a demo notification and we will create uh, this notification on problem table or we can create on incident table as well so let's see incident table category is uncategorized right now but we can select category if we do have further detail condition like uh, we want to select specific category uh, when p1 generates on uh, specific category we can also set that up um, and then email template this is the template that has been selected we can also uh, discuss or learn this email template in following videos uh, for the subject we will keep that p1 incident has been noted so this will be the subject line for the email recipients email now uh, so we are configuring what it will contain so let's say hi team or hi uh, we can also add user's name from this folder but in this video we'll keep hi team p1 incident has been noted and assigned to you or your team we can also add short description for this uh, notification so let's see go into the field and in here we can see short description okay so let's click on that so the short description will be we can always change this to description uh, we can also add resolution time we will add in here but uh, in this instance i haven't um, configured the resolution time so just for the learning purpose we will add resolution time here but we will not be able to see the time so resolve time we can also add the resolution notice so this is the uh, content of the email let's see when to send so send when the record has been inserted or updated so for the incident whenever the priority has been changed to one priority one so either if it's a new email uh, new incident or uh, existing incident then insert or update so let's choose priority priority changes to one critical okay who will receive so for the receiver uh, again uh, we can select users or groups so if we want to add by ourselves then click on add me or we can select the users from here so in in this scenario I will select myself and then for the groups uh, we can uh, add let's say the incident management group if we want to add incident management then that is there as well okay 
so now we have all uh, conditions configured so when to send when the priority uh, changes to one and then who will receive the uh, myself and incident management group who will con what it will contain so our content is um, subject and the content over here now let's save this notification now let's go ahead and uh, open the incident dot list okay so let's select any incident that is not priority one so let's say for example we'll pick this that has priority three now okay okay so let's uh, select another incident let's say uh, the incident with the high priority let's open that and then change the impact to high and urgency to high so priority is one and assignment group uh, let's change the assignment group to any other uh, for example portfolio managers and then assign to is megan so now let's add the notes like demo notification okay and let's save this incident now let's go ahead and check if the notification has been created and then email has been sent or not so to test that what we will do is we will uh, type received in the left navigation click on that so we will be able to see the log of the received email so as you can see uh, we are able to see that p1 incident has been noted so let's open that and then preview email and we are able to see um, hi team p1 incident has been noted and assigned to you description is there as i said we do not i do not have configured the resolution time in this instance so we will not be able to see the resolution time but if we have configured that then we will be able to see it here as well and uh, we can always change this content based on the requirement as well so uh, this is how we can create a notification based on certain condition in service now and then uh, we can generate emails and notification based on that uh, notification condition thank you for watching this video we will see you in next video